Today on Toy Shiz, we're rocking out with our frogs out. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are checking out the brand new NECA Toys Target Store exclusive, their cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Punk Frogs Set 1 Rasputin, and Genghis Frog, Genghis being one of my, you know, Playmates Ninja Turtles figures. You know him very well. And then, of course, you also had Napoleon Bonafrog, who was another Playmate. So we'll look at those later. But really nice packaging, of course. And you got some illustrations by JNL Toys right there on the front. There's a lot of inconsistencies with the old cartoon. Watch it. It goes in and out wild, especially with sizes. But on the back side, you get the two frogs, Rasputin and Genghis. Really nice photos. And then you kind of get a look at some of the figures that have come before and maybe one that's coming up real, real shortly. Everyone that's involved with the creation of these figures. So thanks for that. And here's the barcode as well. And like I said, I picked this up at Target. They are starting to hit Target now. Good luck. If you're not aware of the punk frogs, they come from the 1980s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. Basically a little kid down by the Florida bayou whatever you want to call it swamp uh, he's playing with a bunch of frogs and shredder wanted mutagen and krang sends it to him from dimension x and gets the coordinates wrong and ends up in the swamp and it hits the frogs because the frogs touch the kid and they turn into basically the ninja turtles but frogs and then shredder hits them with some kind of ray which has gives them clothes like it's just a clothes ray i don't know and he equips them with weapons and confuses them and short story they end up befriending ninja turtles and bingo bango stupid sexy frogs there are two other frogs coming of course this is the first set and then coming shortly thereafter this attila the frog and napoleon bona frog so that will be cool also ace duck which i can't wait for for that i can't i just i'm a big fan of all these cartoon turtles so i'm in it to win it i want them all and I still haven't found the trench coat four pack disguise, whatever. Anyway, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot froggy cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys Target Store exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the cartoon series Rasputin and Genghis Frog. And here are the two Battletoads out of the packaging. And it's always nice to get these big NECA box sets with these Ninja Turtle figures because they pack in so many things. There are a magnitude of accessories, hands, little tidbits, little nuances towards the show. And it just really resonates. It shows me they know what they're doing. You don't got to worry when they make these figures. I mean, everything alludes to deep dive cuts of the shows. They got their weapons. They got extra heads. They got hands. They got the little frog, you know, before he they mutate and disguises and turtle comms and everything else. But yeah, these are just fun figures. And just a word to the wise before we get started heat these up because a few instances of joints just trust me just just take the time to do it you don't want to break anything so first and foremost starting off with Genghis you get his little tiny frog with the frog butt <laughs> nice little animated looking frog very cute right that's adorable anyways you get Genghis's weapon which is essentially this big war axe which is cool Watch it in the cartoon, it changes shape as well. It goes really big and really small. This is around the right size. You get a finger pointing frog hand. You get two of them, in fact. So pair those. Then you get a pair of fisted hands for old Genghis right there. And then, of course, the ones that he has. So he has weapon holding hands as well. You get a turtle com, right? We have seen this before. It's an open version, doesn't do anything. It's painted nicely. And then we have this little accessory, which comes from Dirk Savage going after the frogs at one point. It's like, I'll show you in just a second. You put, you can say put like Genghis's foot in there and it's basically like a frog trap. Kind of interesting. Anyways, you do get some extra head portraits for each frog. This one's really cool. Very <laughs> Perfect disguise, right? No one will ever know. That's, uh, but you can take it off and it's, uh, you get the extra little smiley head for old Genghis. And the heads actually do pop on and off very easily, but the disguise is cool. Reminds me of an old Playmates Donatello disguise, right? Very cool to see. And you could pop it on each of the frogs. Now, 
when it comes to Genghis, as I'll tell you again, heat these up a little bit. Did me wonders, right? Especially in the biceps and everything. Here's a look at both heads up close. I like it. They're essentially the same. They kind of have like the Ninja Turtle thing, the old playmates where the, the mouth was barely visible on the sides. But yeah, he looks like he stepped right out of the cartoon. Nice cell shaded greens, blues. They've got that device of line, you know, down the sides of the legs and the arms. And then of course you got his purple shirt. He's got the swanky Florida look to him. As far as articulation goes, you do get some nice rotation in the head. You kind of look up kind of look down. Some instances the head will pop off, just FYI. And then you can just simply pop each of the heads on. This one fits on a little bit more snug. You do get some articulation in the arms. He will go up and down, left, right, all this stuff. You can see, yeah, if you shirt, you can remove it. If you pop the arms off, I'm not gonna do all that kind of stuff. But he does have bicep. He does rotate at the elbows. He's got single jointed elbows and wrist spin and everything else. Nice little watch, nice little deco there. I like the ab crunch on him. You can get him down. You can get him into some cool frog poses, which is good. That's kind of how they stand in the cartoon. Anyways, he'll spin at the waist as well. Kind of in the legs, I will say. He's a little bit loose. Looser than I would like. Not terrible, but just a little loose. Just keep that in mind. And right there, where it kind of knocks into that plastic, it doesn't have like that Rat King effect where it kind of stressed it out. So that's good. Nice to see that they kind of Change that a little bit. He's got ankle rock up, down, left, right. Get a little bit of water from where I heated these things up, in case you notice on my hands. So it's a nice figure overall. And let's go over what you get with Rasputin. Basically, big frog butt, and just it's the same frog. <laughs> it's painted different colors. I'm glad they included them, though. You also get the turtle com, same exact thing right there. So you get two turtle coms in this set. You get Rasputin's bow and arrow, right? So this is, has some black cell shaded look to it. Actually very taut bow line right there. So I'll show you, you can't really like get him holding it perfectly, which is a bummer, but at the same time, he's just holding it anyways. You do get his, what is it called a quiver? It's nice graphic. You can put this over his shoulder. I'll show you that as well. And then you get four arrows. You get three arrows that are all the same. And then you get his, like, totally out of Playmates toys, right? It's got little, like, eyes on it. In the cartoon, what was it? Like a, it was like a grenade or a gas bomb or something like that. But they're all painted nicely. And the best part is they all fit right in there. So, right, nice and snug. If you kind of put the, the bomb head one on first and then all the other arrows should fall in it. But they hold in nicely. Don't tip them over. They're all going to fall out. I did it, like, 50 million times before doing this video, same thing with the heads, just a different painted color, right? The sides of the mouth are visible. You get a open hand as well. This is kind of cool. So it's a little bit different hands. You get the peace sign, which is nice, right? That's nice. A pair of hands, pair of fisted, pair of weapon holding hands, pair of peace sign hands. Lots of hands. <laughs> and this is the exact same body as well. I actually had more luck. Didn't have to heat him up as much. Just I just threw them both in, but uh, on the be on the safe side. But nice reds, nice greens, differentiates it enough to be like, okay, I get it. It's like the Ninja Turtles, punk frogs, you know, but he's got the different medallion color right there, different color shirts. It's cool to have these. I'm looking forward to the next set as well to have all four, but it's when you equip them, you give them the weapons, these are fun, and they're gonna look really good in your NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle display. It is fun to finally have more cartoon accurate versions of these characters. And poses wise, yeah, you can have some fun with these as well. And like I said, yeah, this is a trap for his foot. Just simply put his foot in there and just kind of stands there with it, but it, it traps him. Don't uh, don't worry about it. And the head, you know, it kind of looks like, you know, help me. This is a lot of fun, the disguise. I wish it came with two disguises. I'm gonna be quite honest with you, but uh, <laughs> it looks like, you know, going down to Florida, that's, uh, that's what it's like. And the same thing with Rasputin, right? He's got his bow and arrow set, put the quiver over his shoulder, his neck, what have you. It, if you watch the cartoon, he's got it to the left, he's got it to the right, so 
whichever one you want to pick is cartoon accurate. You can put his arm back like he's going to pull one of the arrows. Kind of cool. You can't get like there's not enough articulation in the sense that you can kind of put it to where he's holding the bow and arrow. If you, you can kind of fudge it a little bit. But uh, yeah, the disguise will work on him as well. As far as all the different heights with all the other different characters released and such like Shredder being that he's the one that hit him with the clothing ray or whatever yeah he's gonna scale nicely bebop and rock steady the punk frogs depending on which episode you watch and such they're smaller they're around the turtles height just go with that they're always kind of crouched down which is really cool that you can put them in that pose you know what i mean but with like leatherhead yeah he's always the more huge character so when you put him up against the ninja turtles standing up crouching down they're smaller they're taller that they're around the same height as the Ninja Turtles. So they're in perfect scale, I would say, with all the different inconsistencies. And as soon as I get the trench coat, this is going to look real good with Donatello. It doesn't really fit, to be quite honest with you. Then we have the old Playmates toys, right? I have had these for years. Genghis, Napoleon, Bonafrog, right? Which looked nothing like that in the actual cartoon. But with Genghis, yeah, you know, it's it's cool to see after all these years. It's really nostalgic. I like seeing it. <laughs> the old Playmates Genghis is just terrifying now that you have these up against the NECA ones. And yeah, totally different course with uh, Napoleon coming in the next set of the Punk Frogs. But yeah, it's kind of cool to see them measure up. And yeah, of course, just to show you the two frogs together... <laughs> That's wild. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys cartoon Target box set exclusive Punk Frogs Series 1, whatever you want to call it. The, what is it, the Turtles in Disguise is out now. These are out. Others will be out. Nice spacing in between. But uh, yeah, it's going to get real turtle heavy this year. And, you know, some other fun surprises are coming up. You know, this should be a lot of fun. But I will tell you, in all honesty, if you have collected all the Ninja Turtles thus far from NECA Toys, yeah, this is a no-brainer for your collection. Weapons are cool. Deep dives are cool. Everything's cool. This is another home run box set. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything NECA Toys. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. Drink some great coffee. Eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I still don't understand the clothing ray. That's just, that's wild to me. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.